first day at school. Billy's school is for children between the ages of four and seven. It's newly built and is a pleasant place in which to learn or teach. Billy, as a matter of fact, hardly knows that he's learning anything. But in four weeks, he has actually learned quite a lot. Every day begins with an assembly, which gives an opportunity to gather all the school together and unconsciously gives a feeling of unity and belonging. The religious service is strictly non-denominational. The singing is either lusty or indifferent, depending on how far a boy feels he can trust his breaking voice. Scotch inventions and discoveries include adhesive stamps, the Australian National Anthem, the Bank of England, bicycle pedals, the breech-loading rifle, you'll notice I'm going in alphabetical order, bovril, the cell nucleus, chloroform, the cloud chamber, corn flour, a cure for malaria, the decimal point, the Encyclopedia Britannica, fountain pens, fingerprinting, hypnosis, hypodermic syringes, insulin, the kaleidoscope, the lawnmower, lime cordial, logarithms, lorries, marmalade, matches, motor insurance, paraffin, piano pedals, the postmark, pneumatic tyres, radar, the reflecting telescope, savings banks, the screw propeller, the speedometer, the steam hammer, raincoats, tarmac, teleprinters, tubular steel, typhoid vaccine, ultrasound scanners, the United States Navy, universal standard time, vacuum flasks, wave-powered electricity generations and wire rope. It seems to be a good soil for inventive geniuses who have given their discoveries to mankind. Any boy whose actions bring the school into disrepute will be answerable to me. When you was at school, did you ever get the cane? Uh, the belt, yes. The cane never did me any harm, as I'm sure the belt never did you any harm either. Up. Ghetto. I really was, I won't say you the word frightened, but definitely respectful of the teachers, respectful of the policeman, the bobby in the street. Most Scottish secondary school teachers possess one of these thick leather straps with a double tongue. And the largest teachers union in Scotland maintains that it's an unpleasant necessity in today's unruly classroom. I would say that the strap is a salutary and effective means of maintaining discipline in a school and that uh, judicious and uh, sparing use of it is perfectly right. <laughs> Teachers are being regularly attacked by pupils, with almost a quarter of them saying they suffer physical violence at least once a week. Attacks involve being spat at, headbutted, and having personal property damaged. Police called in to patrol Scottish school after unruly behaviour. A teacher had a kneecap kicked off, another had ribs broken and separate assaults by pupils. A new report shows 15 year old boy has been charged with using a sharpened pencil to stab a teacher in the neck. 
As parent of one of these pupils, it is beyond belief that my child may be put at serious risk as this offender can return to school with no consequences. The union claimed incidents of violence against teachers were happening with alarming regularity in schools across the region as behaviour in some schools reached crisis points. A Scottish teacher writes a furious open letter to Nicola Sturgeon. I had to evacuate the children from the classroom on more than one occasion while one of my children trashed the classroom. I read a story from a different teacher in another school about a pupil who just destroyed the school library, throwing chairs around, taking all the books off the shelves, hurling them around, and then their specialist support teacher came along and tried to negotiate with this pupil and calmed them down. At Holyrood Secondary School, 88 children were told to stay at home after incidents including fighting and substance abuse. Gloucester Academy had the second highest exclusion rate, 70 pupils suspended, that's in one year, for offences such as fire raising and assault with weapons. So how do schools respond to that? How does the education system respond? Well it responds by implementing a weak and indulgent disciplinary system in the schools. Now in Scotland they've got a special name for weak and indulgent disciplinary system. It's called restorative practice. Now, restorative practice is based on two fundamental principles. The first one is punishment bad. It's a growing awareness of the harm that is done to children by punishment. I didn't even make that word punish. Punishing children is ineffective, it's harmful, it's counterproductive. But thanks for showing that it is actually true that people end up with um, influence over the lives of children in Scotland. They do have this really extreme philosophy to do away with punishment. Principle number two, counselling is good. Talk things through with kids, the kids will realise the error of their ways, reform, and then they will behave themselves. So for example, when a boy has battered another child and left them curled up on the floor in tears, the reason they did that was because they didn't realise it was having such a negative effect on him. If your child was very badly behaved in the classroom, let, let's just say that, it was rude to the teacher, refused to do their work, um, swore at the teacher, attempted to, um, I, I don't know, rip the pictures off the wall, I'm just trying to kind of paint a picture yeah. of, of kind of obvious misbehaviour. Should yeah. they not be punished? That's a child that's suffering. It's a waste of time talking to you now. Why are you missing? I am a dog. No, you're not. Gossip, you're not listening, are you? No, you're not. None of you are listening. Look at that glazed expression on your faces. You never listen. Yours is the generation that never listens. Because we can never tell you anything. You're the sophisticated ones. With all your music and your gear. But you know, it's superficial. It's a sheen. And there's nothing solid or worthwhile underneath. Why do I know there's been no advance? in discipline or decency or morals or manners why do i know it because i still have to use this to you boys every day As a teacher myself, Morgan, I find that they do want discipline. Absolutely. They're craving for discipline. They're angry at you if you don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll make you discipline. <laughs> I would say that the strap is a salutary and effective means of maintaining discipline in a school. And that uh, judicious and uh, sparing use of it is perfectly right and correct. Once more into the breaches. 